Hey, this is Mark Wyatt with the Iowa Bicycle Coalition. I wanted to give you a quick capital update. I know we're not in the capital yet, but this is the time of year that we start working on things. We've had our second district leader meeting today. Uh, this is where we have a district leader who's one of the bicyclists in, in, in our group uh, that uh, connects and volunteers and says they want to connect up with their legislator during the session. So we have meetings every Friday. Uh, they're optional in case you're interested in becoming a district leader and you can't attend the Friday meeting, no problem. It's an option. So come on in and uh, sign up. You can go to our website, iowabicyclecoalition.org. Click on the Advocacy tab, Legislative District Leaders tab, and you can sign up to become a Legislative District Leader. So here's a couple of things that we were working on in this, uh, at this meeting, things that we went over. We've got five bills that we're talking about this session. Uh, number one is standardizing penalties in traffic crashes. Uh, so specifically, we know that uh, bicyclists get a lesser penalty in traffic crashes, and we wanna make sure that we address that. Uh, they're not on the enhanced penalty list in case of a fatal crash or a serious injury crash, so we have a bill that's gonna be filed to add bicycling to that list. Okay, so that one's pre-filed, and we're working on that one to move that forward. So crossing our fingers, we've got a good step forward there. The second one, change lanes to pass. We've been working on this for several years. We've still got some roadblocks ahead of us with the high-vis requirement, but we're still continuing to focus on safe passing because we know that several bicyclists every year are killed because they're hit from behind. Uh, so we wanna make sure that that is addressed. Crosswalk protection for bicyclists. This is one that came to us that people are interested in. There's about 200 uh, uh, crosswalk crashes for bicyclists each and every year. Uh, so we want to focus on that issue too and add bicyclists to the protection at crosswalks. Um, of course, we're hearing a lot of things about hands-free cell phone use uh, while driving and, and we want to end that to make sure that everything's in hands-free mode. That's not perfect. It's not going to end distracted driving, but it is a good step forward. And then uh, finally, we're hearing some rumblings about the Natural Resources and Outdoor Recreation Trust Fund. Uh, there's been some talk about elimination of the income tax and probably replacing it with a sales tax. And if that's the case, the first three eighths of a sales tax increase goes towards the Natural Resources and Outdoor Recreation Trust Fund. 10% of that funding goes towards trails. So that could take us from $1.5 million in trails every year to $20 million or even more. Uh, so that's important. That can mean that means that projects that we wanted to finish in our lifetime could actually get finished in our lifetime. So we're really looking forward uh, to see that sort of uh, bill enacted. But this is going to take a fight. They are going to want to divert every penny of that trail fund into uh, water issues and agriculture issues and things like that but it's supposed to be a package deal. There's supposed to be natural resources and outdoor recreation. Those things got to work together. So this is the five things we're going to be working on in the Capitol this year. Okay, if that's not enough, we have several things going on. Friday, January 7th is uh, one of our next district leader meetings. Our actual next one is going to be the 31st, New Year's Eve. And we're going to be working on launching a petition uh, on New Year's Eve uh, that will let you outreach to your legislators and, and tell them how happy you are that they're back at the Capitol and hope they do something for you. Nothing means more than you, the voter in the home district, communicating with your legislator that your district elected to represent you. If you communicate with them directly, that makes a huge difference. And that's really what gets things done. I can't thank you enough for acting. Can't thank you enough for taking action and moving it forward because that's really what moves the needle in Des Moines is you back home saying these are priorities. Bicycling is a priority and your legislator should be voting on your behalf. It's your interest. 
All right, we've done some updates to our website. Basically, we've cleared it out of, of a lot of the clutter from last session, and we're getting it ready to go for next session. We've taken our bill tracker, and we've gotten rid of all the extra bills. In fact, we had some keyword search bills on there on bicycle and traffic, just so we could figure out what's coming up, and we can examine all those bills. We've cleared everything out. We're ready to go for this session, this, this second half of the session. Sessions really last two years. Uh, so this is the second half of the session. We're ready to go. Uh, we've updated the website, like I said. We've got things where we want to. And then we're starting these video updates so we can keep people informed of what's going on at the Capitol. Some important dates that we need to keep in mind. Number one, the session begins on January 10th. Now that first week is a lot of speeches, a lot of pop and circumstance. You know, I got retirements coming up where people want to kind of grandstand a little bit and tell what they what's going on and, and uh, what their legacy is. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of speeches going on during that first week of the session. Not much substance, not much meetings. Second week is when things hit the ground running because this is the short session. There's a long session and a short session. This one's the short one, so things got to move fast if it wants to stay alive this part of the session. Um, the Iowa uh, Bicycle Summit District Leader Meeting uh, uh, during the Iowa Bike Expo, Saturday, January 29th. Uh, at noon, we're going to have another meeting. This one, instead of Friday, it'll be on Saturday. This is an in-person meeting at the Iowa uh, Event Center in Des Moines. We can all gather, get together, and uh, talk with our lobbyists and talk about the issues that are in front of us. So that one should be a good one, worth attending if you're interested in what the legislative platform is, especially if you're a district leader. First funnel date is February 18th. This is going to come up really quickly on us. So really... Um, but the session starts, that, that's just five weeks until, uh, until the first funnel date. And that's the funnel means uh, that's the deadline whether if that bill hasn't ad, had some action. If it hasn't been through a subcommittee and a committee, it's going to be dead and not acted on for, for the rest of the lifetime of the session. Um, bike day at the Capitol is going to be February 9th. That's one week, just a little over one week before that first funnel date. So that's going to be critical for us to be there, to turn people out. We're not uh, going to do a display in the Capitol. That's not our thing. We are there to talk to legislators. So if you're interested in meeting with your legislator at the Capitol that day, February 9th the day. We're probably going to do a virtual option. So if you can't make it to Des Moines and you still want to meet with your legislator, especially if we can get a group uh, that, that will uh, meet with their legislator, uh, that's going to be on February 9th. Second funnel date is March 18th, and the per diem ends on April 19th. That's usually when they stop getting paid and usually when they want to get out of Des Moines and get back home. So, short session, short timeline, but there's a lot we can accomplish. We've got those five issues, safe passing, uh, prohibiting handheld use, uh, cell phone use while driving, standardizing penalties in, in vehicle crashes, crosswalk protection, and the Natural Resources and Outdoor Recreation Trust Fund. All right, wrapping it up, this is Mark Wyatt with the Iowa Bicycle Coalition. I am uh, working for you. Um, I want you to get involved. So go to our website, iowabicyclecoalition.org. Most importantly, we're at our end of the year fundraising. We still got about $18,000 left to raise by the end of the year to unlock a $25,000 match grant. We've already unlocked the first $25,000 match grant. We need to unlock the second one. We've got about $18,000 to go. We've got about two weeks to do it. So I urge you to get out there, give us a hand, and uh, help promote safe bicycling. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you on the next Capital Update.